Hi guys, I am gonna do an update video. I need to change Sean desperately. Um, as you can see, he really hasn't, he hasn't been touched since uh, June with Pride Month. And I need to wash his outfit, but I just honestly guys lately have been more into my AG dolls than I have really my Reborns. And uh, Macy is still in her pride outfit as well. So both of them need to get changed and need to get um, they just need to get changed. They're, they're kind of getting neglected a little bit right now. Um, so I am going to change Sean. He has got his rainbow romper on for pride month still. I picked this up when I was back to school shopping with my kids. It is a super cute pajama set. And it literally has little tacos and avocados all over it. So the avocados are like a lime green with a maroon pit and a darker, kind of a sage green with a darker green pit. And then the tacos on it are yellow, green, and orange. And then they have little smiley faces on them. So it's a little pajama set with a hat. I thought that was super, super cute when um, my neighbor and I went shopping actually to look for we were going, we were going to have a girl's day and went shopping and we were going to go do a whole bunch of fun stuff. And she ultimately ended up with a flat tire literally as we were leaving. So we had to go get that fixed. So we dropped her car off to go get the tire fixed. And then we went, came home and actually we came home with her car. I followed her to the shop to get her tire fixed. And she, um, we left her car there and then we took my van and we went to a few places and that was during our tax-free weekend. Um, for those that, I had honestly never heard of this until I moved to Texas. Every year in August before back to school, there is what's tax-free weekend. It is um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and it's one weekend only. And you get, you don't have to pay taxes on any clothes, shoes, socks, undergarments, um, here on him uh school supplies backpacks basically most school supplies except for like electronics i believe calculators are in the tax-free weekend but like a, a laptop computer would not be or an iphone or an ipad anything like that nature is not included. Um, I don't believe headphones. Headphones used to be included, but because headphones are not what they used to be, like with Beats and everything, those are no longer included. Um, but yeah, that's basically what it is. So we dropped her car off and we were just kind of trying to stay in the area of the shop. And we went to Ross, Marshall's, um, five below and such and I got my kids their back to school clothes and when we walked by the baby stuff at Marshall's I saw this and I just had to have it I, it was on clearance and I'm like oh my gosh this is just too cute the scream Sean so I picked it up for him and putting this on him he looks super cozy in it so I do not regret this purchase at all this is a 10 out of 10 purchase he, he looks adorable in it so anyways aside from just changing Sean um, I wanted to come on to kind of give an update on what's been going on. I know you guys have probably, oh, oh. sorry guys, my daughter just got home from school and startled me. Usually I get a text when the bus is going to drop her off, but this time I did it. Um, anyways, so you've probably noticed I have been absent. Um, I'm not doing like my two videos a week lately and it's just... Life has got super busy. The kids are actually back to school now. So I'm hoping to be able to, my goal right now is to do at least one video a week. Um, honestly, there's not a whole lot going on. So I haven't, like I said, I've, I've just not been feeling my reborns lately. So I haven't done any outings with them. Although my neighbor and I were talking, um, I don't know when, probably sometime in September when she's home. We, her and I might be going up to Waco just for a day trip 
I mean, going up to Waco isn't much. But there's a bunch of little shops downtown that we discovered. Uh, we had taken my kids to the water park this one day this summer because we have passes. And I had found out about this little sugar or this little candy store in Waco called Hey Sugar, which is downtown by the silos. Um, and when we were, they had moved locations and my GPS took me to their old location. And when we were driving by the old location, there's all these like super cute little boutique shop type things. And her and I were talking about that someday we just want to go down there and just go window shopping. Um, and maybe if we do that, we can bring Sean or Macy with. Probably bring Sean with. I don't know why. I, I'm more attached to Sean. I love Macy, but I think I'm more attached to Sean. Um, but anyways, bring one of the babies with. A friend of mine who lives in Waco, the one that, or not Waco, in Dallas, that I was going to meet up with last year around Halloween at the pumpkin patch, but then we ended up getting COVID. Um, I'm, she, her and I still want to get together really bad. So maybe this year that pumpkin patch uh, will happen. That I know I will take Macy with for her. And honestly, like maybe her and I can look on doing the pumpkin patch again this year and I'll take Macy in her Halloween costume. That would be cute for an outing. Um, but I really even haven't been buying clothes for them this summer. I did have a few of those small hauls when we would go to that new thrift shop that I found. But lately, I just, I, I look at the clothes, but there's nothing that really is like jumping out like I have to have. I did this summer go through all of both Macy and Sean's clothes and weeded out a bunch. Um, I, they still do have a bunch themselves, but I, I got rid of a bunch. And it's just, I'm getting to the point with the clothes that unless it jumps out at me, like this outfit he is wearing right now, the sleeper, or like the two um, pride outfits that I ended up buying, I don't, I'm not just buying for the sake of buying anymore. I know for a while, um, when I first started my channel, I would go to that other thrift shop and you would buy five pieces and get two free. Um, I, I would go and they were relatively inexpensive back then. They really raised their prices last time I went. But I would go and I would purchase like anything that I just liked or anything that was like a name brand or in such, I would just buy, 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 buy. Well, I had gotten rid of a bunch of my doll clothes prior, so it was almost like I was restocking, but now I've, I've gotten to the point where I only buy what I really like, and I'm not going to overextend myself anymore, just because like if I go shopping, I'm like, oh, this is cute. Yeah, it's cute, but do I need it? Is it something I could, is it something I could live without? Um, like when Tracy and I went shopping, I got a few things and it was kind of a, can I live without this? Can't I? There was an outfit that I had looked for for Sean that I was going to get and I ultimately ended up putting it back and I don't, re I don't regret putting it back. Like it's not like something where I'm actively thinking of it like, oh, I should have got that. Oh, I should have got that. Oh, I should have got that. Um, there has been times that I did do that. Um, there was a kicky pant at the consignment store. There was a really cute kicky pants sleeper that I put back. And then when I went back to get it, it was gone. So realized his foot isn't in his foothold. Um, but like this sleeper that he has on right now, that was one of those like, oh my gosh, this is adorable. I know if I went to bought this, I would have gone back to getting it, getting it. And if it wouldn't have been there, I would have been like, oh, I regret not buying it. So I'm, I'm not doing as many impulse purchases when we go shopping, as well as since COVID hit, honestly, like at the discount stores like Ross and um, Marshall's, they really haven't had super sales, so to speak. So I just, I've been, so to wrap it up, I've been super busy with the kids. Um, towards the end of summer and they have just started school and we I kind of playing things by ear uh, my son is in cheer this year so I honestly have no idea what his schedule is because his teacher came down with COVID a week before school started and I believe today is her first day back 
Um, so I have no idea what's going on with cheer. My daughter is in archery for 4-H. Um, both of my kids have gotten super involved with their rabbit projects lately on a national level. So we, it's, it's just been crazy chaos. And I am hoping things are gonna at least slow down a little bit. Like even the dog, the first day of school, she just seemed to be moping around the house. She's getting a little bit used to them not being here, but she was kind of moping around the house because uh, her people weren't here and it wasn't loud and chaotic like she likes. But she seems to be doing better with it. So anyways, um, that's just kind of an update about what's going on with us. I hope to get more into it. I hope to be able to do more videos um, now that I'll be able to have time to do videos. Because before I was either the kids were awake creating chaos and noise or the husband was awake creating chaos and noise or I was sleeping. So now I have a little bit of time where there's no kids, no husband, just animals. And as you've seen a little bit in some of the other videos, Teffy's sleeping down. I don't know if you can see her ear down there. She's sleeping in a box right here and the dog's sleeping too. So um, I hope everyone will have a great day and I will see everyone later. Bye.